he gives viewers in all access areas backstage pass to the bit of being a stand-up that I love the most. And that is the brutal honesty, the nerves, the gossip, the fraternity that goes on with comics backstage. Backstage with Catherine Ryan, I'm assuming it does exactly what it says on the tin. It does exactly. And I am in curlers and a tracksuit a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. You'll hear comedians ask where is most discreet to use the washroom. It's it's incredible how they knew there were cameras everywhere, of course, but they forgot quite quickly. Comedians are a lot more comfortable just showing audiences and, and, and groups of people the real side of themselves. It doesn't have to be set up punchline, joke, joke, joke. Though with Jimmy Carr in his episode, he's episode one, uh, he just can't help it. He's telling jokes. See, that man, I was just with him now with the my my son. We went to the farm. He's jokes, jokes, jokes. He's making everyone laugh in the cafe. He's just hilarious all the time, but in a different, softer way that I think people will be surprised by. We get to see, you know, the, the lid lifted off, don't we? We see nerves. We see that sort of last minute gag preparation. And also mm -hmm. uh, you and uh, Sarah Pasca have a really serious conversation about sexual predators within the industry. And, you know, there's no identification that goes on. I don't want to go on into that at all with you because you're very careful in what you say. But how important was it for you two as prominent women in the industry to have that conversation on a programme like this? Well, I think I wouldn't publicly have that conversation because the goal is never to cause, you know, a big scene or to out someone. The goal is always to have these conversations privately, like groups of women, including female comedians, have been doing for years because that's the safest way for us to do so and to be vigilant and assess our environments all the time. And I think what Backstage with Catherine Ryan gives people is a real insight into the conversations that we really have. I was happy to have that conversation with Sarah on the show because I want to show truly the things that we talk about. Um, and unfortunately, that is one of the things that we often talk about. Of course, we don't name names. That would be very unsafe. We see how that turns out. Even by not naming names, I have been called loads of names myself today. How dare you accuse someone... I think you'll find I didn't accuse anyone. We had the conversation in a really lighthearted way. I mean, I've been, I've had a, a barrage of online reaction from that and I haven't even outed anyone. So God bless the women who actually are, you know, taking the courageous step of naming names and outing people. And there's a reason why there is a lack of people willing to come forward. And there is a lack of proof about these things, which we pretty much uh, know to be true in our circles and, and we just have to warn each other about quietly. What What's next for you, Catherine? Um, are you going to do more? Is, is, is a show like this that sort of uh, opens up the industry, is this something you want to do more of? Yes, because I'm very proud of the comedians that I know and love and I want people to see this side of them because it really is the best insight into why we keep doing something that's genuinely terrifying, why we drive all the way to the north at the beginning of our careers for maybe 20 pounds and we lose money in petrol on the way home. You know, it's a labor of love. And what's fun about being a comedian is being around these people who leapfrog over the small talk. They get straight to the big talk. They're all so unique. They're all so completely disarming and honest to a fault. Catherine, thanks for joining us on Five News. 